Welcome to the March Madness Minute number four, and we're going to be looking at formative assessments, and today we're specifically going to look at AnswerGarden.ch. So some things to know. AnswerGarden is an online word cloud, meaning the more responses for a particular type, the larger that word will be. It's collaborative, it's online, it's live, and you have the ability to export results when you're done. So I'm just going to go to AnswerGarden.ch and I'm going to hit the plus sign. Now, all I really need to do is have a question or topic. So um, with it being early March, I know that early April is on its way. And so spring break has started to penetrate my brain. So um, words to describe your spring break. So I'm going to go ahead. I don't really need to make any changes down below. Um, if I want the answer length to be 20 characters, I'm going to leave it there. If I was using with this with students, I would put in a password because it's anonymous. That would give me the ability to delete words if I wanted to and enter my email. And I'm going to have this up for one week and hit create. And that was my entire setup. So words to describe your spring break. Now here I could share this with my students. They would just go to answergarden.ch forward slash 150152. They don't need the word view in there. They can skip that part. If I was using my URL shortener, I could click that and the QR code and students with their phone or tablet could scan that QR code and it would take them directly to this answer garden. So if I said um, vitamin D, submit, I don't want whole paragraphs. I really just want short little blurbs. And if somebody else says vitamin D, this word will get larger. So I'll leave this up so everybody can add words to describe their spring break. Um, and we'll see this word cloud be created live. If you look at the bottom, you'll see where you can share this on Twitter um, or other social networks. You can export so that your results are on Twitter. Um, you could download the picture that's created. In the admin portion, I can hide answers. If I got something inappropriate, I could do that. Um, I could edit my topic as I go. So that's just a little bit about Answer Garden. It's a great way to start a unit to see what kind of vocabulary words students have related to a topic. Um, it's a great way to get feedback and there's really not a limit to the number of answers that people put in or the number of people that are responding. So have fun with Answer Garden and I hope you take a minute to add some words about your spring break.